Hey fellow fishing fanatic, as you begin to fish more and more and you begin to collect more and more lures, you need a place to store them. And that is a tackle box. Now there are countless of tackle boxes on the market. Some are worth your money and some really aren't worth buying at all. Now I've fished for more than two decades and I've used a ton of different kinds of tackle boxes, different brands, different styles. So I've came up with my favorites but that doesn't mean that they're right for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down some of my favorites and then some others that I think are good buys for beginners and people who don't fish all the time. My name is Wesley Littlefield with anglers.com and today is all about tackle boxes. Now, if you find this content useful and helpful, I would highly encourage you to subscribe because we've got more and more content pumping out every week and it's just a great place if you're an angler to learn about products to learn about fishing techniques to learn about all kinds of different stuff that way you can become a better angler also all the products that i'm talking about today will be listed down in the description below so if you're interested in buying them go ahead and click those links we earn a small commission from that that's how we keep this channel going but it's no extra cost to you so help us out as we help you out i would greatly appreciate it. As I mentioned earlier, I've found my favorite tackle boxes. They are the Flambeau Z-Rust series and the Plano Edge series. Now both of these are kind of on the opposite ends as far as price range, but they're very similar in what they provide the angler. I would recommend the Flambeau series for beginners, hands down because it's just less expensive and it still works and if you're a little bit more advanced and looking for maybe a little more compact or more robust box then the Plano Edge series is going to be for you but with that I'm actually going to dive much deeper into it so let's get started talking about the Plano Edge series so as you can see the Plano Edge series comes in several different styles different sizes of boxes but what I really like about them is number one the latches are solid latches you can hear them pop when you open them and there's also an o-ring or a seal that runs around the lid so when you close it it's watertight if you accidentally drop it in the water it's not going to just immediately fill up with water i also like that they have water wicking technology so what that means is when you put your lures up wet they're not going to collect rust because they've got a special kind of technology i don't understand it all it's in the plastics it's and stuff but it works so that's why i really like the edge series also most of them are compact you can see that this is a jig and bladed jig box very small but it holds a lot of different jigs and we're actually going to end up giving some of these away if you're not a part of our email list you might want to join our email list and if you're not a part of our fishing community you might want to join that too this is an another one same thing very compact this is the terminal box but it's got all the same features that the jig box has. I like it because it's very compact, latch is great, easy to get to, easy on and off, quick access, but it holds a lot of terminal tackle. As you can see, I mean, it would hold a lot. The one thing that I was really hoping to get, and I did get, but it's just kind of too big for what I use it for, like bank fishing and kayak fishing, and that's the crankbait box. You can also get a, they've also, they also have a frog box, which is kind of similar to the crankbait box. But as you can see, it's big, but it also holds a lot of crankbaits. It holds, you know, your deep diving crankbaits all the way to your shallow diving crankbaits. So you're covered in crankbaits. The best thing about this box is that it's tangle free. So no more digging through your tackle box, seeing that all of your crankbaits are all tangled up together and just getting frustrated. That is probably, the main reason to buy one of these crankbait boxes. Now, what about the cons? It's not all gung-ho on Plano Edge. And honestly, the main con is the price. These boxes are expensive compared to your typical tackle boxes on the market. You know, this box is almost like $50 and these are $20, $30 a piece where you can find similar boxes at sometimes almost half that price. You know, you get all these cool features, but you're gonna pay for it. That's why I don't recommend it for beginners, but if you're an advanced angler and you know that you're gonna use this kind of stuff and you know that, hey, that's really gonna be a benefit, it's really worth it. All right, now with the Plano Edge series out of the way, let's talk about my other favorite one, and that's the Flambeau Z-Rust series. The Flambeau Z-Rust series. 
it's similar, very similar to the Plano Edge series, I would say, because it has many of the same features. It's got good solid locking latches and it's got the seal all the way around the lid so you're gonna prevent water from getting in it. The Z-Rust plastic is what's supposed to prevent your lures from getting rusted, but it's supposed to prevent your lures from rusting for like five to 10 years, which is cool. I haven't had it for five to 10 years, so I don't know if that's true or not. This one specifically is the crankbait box. As you can see, it's a little bit different design than the Plano Edge Series crankbait box. What I really like about this one, different than the Plano, is they come in sleeves. You can dump it out, grab it, or go with it. And you can stick your frogs in here too. So if you're a frog guy and a crankbait guy, you get two out of one instead of having to buy two separate boxes. I've actually done a review on this specific box that I'll leave linked in the description that you can check out if you're interested in this. But I believe it's about half the price or two thirds the price of the Plano Edge series crankbait box. And then the other Flambo Z-Rust series that I have is one of these tray boxes. These are nice because once again, they're adjustable. You can you know, take out the dividers, make it what size you need it. The blue panels or the blue dividers are the Z-Rust technology infused plastic. So you're still getting the Z-Rust technology and you can see through the top of it to see really what you need. That was one thing I didn't mention about the big box is it's really hard to see through the top of these. So these darker colored boxes, while I like them, I would prefer them to be clear because this box and the blade crate look a lot alike and sometimes they're really easy to get confused. So I'd like them to be clear just to be able to see, hey, what's in the box. Another good tip that I should take my own advice is actually just taking a piece of tape and writing what's in the box or writing with a Sharpie what's in the box. And there you go, solves the problem. But Flambo has a few more different boxes than these. These are two of the several that I own and they're well worth the money, especially for beginners. If you're not wanting to spend the money on Plano, Flambo is an excellent, excellent second choice. And for some people, it should be the first choice. So speaking of a little bit cheaper boxes, this is actually another Plano box. And this is more like your traditional tackle box that I grew up using. You know, you open it up, it's a tray box. So you open up the lid and you've got trays that pop up and you haul a bunch of lures on these different trays right here. I like them because you can hold a lot of different tackle up in these trays and then down in the bottom. This one specifically I like because the lid even acts as a tray and holds lures, holds your pliers if you need it, holds scissors, whatever you need, it acts as that. However, it's not waterproof and it's not gonna prevent rust gathering on your hooks. So it's a lot cheaper but it's not as good in my opinion, therefore it should be a lot cheaper. But that said, I know a lot of people still love these boxes. I'm not a huge fan of them because like I said, I'm a kayak angler and a bank angler and I just don't wanna carry around this big bulky thing. Now, my father-in-law, when I go up and fish with him in Michigan, we use a box very similar to this and it works just fine for what we're doing. So I'm not saying you shouldn't buy these boxes because if you don't fish a lot, then don't go spend the money on the expensive stuff. Get something that you can use and that's reasonably priced for you. And that's why I would recommend getting this box. Now I've got two more boxes left and the first one is Bass Pro Shops water resistant utility boxes. They come in a few different sizes. I like these because they're not that expensive and they're water resistant. I mean, what's not to like about that? They're really compact. You can put quite a few lures in here. Um, I say quite a few, you know, terminal tackle stuff especially you could put in here but some lures and stuff you could also put in here and they're just a, a solid choice for something that's halfway inexpensive what i don't like are these latches you can click them and they kind of latch and then you know something might bump it and they're real easy to unlatch and i just i don't like that because i might rub up against it pop it and accidentally bump it and knock it over my kayak and i lose a bunch of tackle or whatever but for how compact they are, use them for like a little day trip or, you know, if you travel, these are pretty good boxes to throw a few in, head out the door and get to fishing. And the last box I'm gonna talk about is actually the H2O Express, which is like the Academy brand. If you don't know what Academy is, it's down here in Oklahoma and several other states, just a sporting goods store. This terminal tackle box is really cool. I actually fell in love with it. It's very compact, the latches 
are pretty good. That's probably the biggest downside for me is the latches, but it's got a rubber seal once again to keep water out. So I don't got to worry about that. Not 100% on whether or not that it is rust preventative. I have yet to find that out. I don't see any of my hooks rusting yet. So that's a positive yay. But what I really like about this is I've got all my weights, specifically bullet weights, categorized by size so I can look real quick, grab what I need and go. There's all that and then the dividers you can change up. I can keep everything based the way I need it to, the way I want it to, separated, divided, so I can grab exactly what I need. Now, this approach is really because I just like to be organized. So if you're somebody who doesn't have to be so organized, then you really don't have to get so detailed in your terminal tackle. You know, a cheap box like this will work just fine. As a matter of fact, it's what I used for years and years with my terminal tackle, but I finally upgraded one of these and I'm never going back. As you can tell, I prefer a little bit more compact, waterproof and rust resistant tackle boxes. That's not to say that's what you have to have, but I think those are the best kind of tackle boxes in my opinion. Now everybody else has got their own opinion, so if you want to leave that opinion in the comments below, go ahead and I might respond to it. I might not, depending on how nice you are. But I will say, if you're being a jerk, I'm probably just going to delete your comment. So be nice to each other. And as I mentioned earlier, I've actually done a review on a couple of other, these other boxes and I'll have reviews on pretty much all of these other boxes coming out in the future if they're not out already by the time you're watching this. So if you want to check those out, there's a video down below me right now that you can watch. And until then, I want you to always remember that education is important, but fishing is essential.